Hi everyone, Adrian from Audio Excellence Canada. I've got a treat for you today. Uh, a few days ago, Sonus Faber introduced their latest homage series of speakers. Um, we did a video of the Serafino unboxing, which uh, Tristan will uh, put the link in the description box if you're interested in watching it. The uh, homage series has four speakers, starting with the uh, Guaneri, which I'll show you in a bit. The Vox, which is basically a center channel, which can also be used as uh, speakers for left, center, right, and so on. And then there's the Serafino, which is, okay, um, you can see that the Serafino is shorter than the Amadi. It's also not quite as deep and not quite as wide. This is the old Amadi, and I'll show you the new Amadi beside the old Amadi in a second. So that's the new Serafino. So I'll spare all of you by having unboxed it first, so you don't have to go through the torture of watching us unbox the speakers. So this is the new Amadi, it's called the Amadi G5, G5 meaning fifth generation. Uh, these are some of the new things that they've included in this new speaker. First of all, the mid-range driver. As you can see, there's this prominent face plug here. Okay, let me show you what it used to look like over here. Just follow me, oh, hang on. Excuse the dust. So this is what the old mid-range used to look like. You'll see that there wasn't the protruding uh, face plug. The tweeter appears to be the same. The woofers on the outside appear to be the same, but they're completely different. Again, I will send some uh, PDF pictures to Tristan and he can insert them. The, the new woofer, which will come over here in a second, the new woofer on the back is uh, quite a bit different. Right at the back of it, you will see there's a red bullet, and that's a heat sink. And also, the new woofer is something like 23.6% uh, increased in uh, base force factor. So that leads to much more dynamics, much better base resolution and punch and power. Um, so that's this speaker here in the mid-range. And of course, uh, inside the speaker, which you cannot see, again, I will send the PDF to uh, Tristan so he can insert pictures of it. There's a new enclosure technology that... Uh, Sonus Faber is calling the Intono. So basically, in the speaker tip in the past, the tweeter had its own sealed enclosure and the mid-range had its own sealed enclosure. Um, if you look at an impedance curve or plot of the speaker, at the maximum uh, pressure, the mid-range has a very high impedance. And so typically what manufacturers do is they'll put damping material inside to lower the impedance and also lower the resonance and so on of, uh, uh, of the mid-range or, or the enclosure. Um, in the case, uh, what uh, Sonus Farber did was quite brilliant. They drilled a duct, a hole between this enclosure and this enclosure, so that allows the pressure to be released from the mid-range into the tweeter. And so at a certain frequency, the mid-range is optimized for its performance. The mid-range driver can now play louder with more efficiency, and the impedance drops by something like 50%. So that's quite cool, um, leading to better clarity and detail. Um, I will tell you, just as a spoiler, I've already started listening to the Serafino compared to the old Amadi. That's why they're side by side in this room. Can you see? That's why they're side by side in this room. And I started listening this morning and um, suffice to say the new mid-range driver is quite magical. Okay, uh, more details. Um, the Crossover as a result of all these changes had also uh, had to also be upgraded and and changed. So the Intono, because of its technology, also one of the side benefits is that less parts are needed in the crossover, and so the crossover is now simpler. Having said that, the crossover uses top-notch parts like Mundorf capacitors and resistors, um, Jensen uh, inductors, and um, uh, custom clarity caps. So all of that is inside the speaker. And then finally, oh, a couple more things. The cabinet, I had a few questions about this. The cabinet is made of nine layers of natural wood, then um, uh, I guess sandwiched together. Then the finish itself is nine layers of uh, lacquer uh, and then hand sanded multiple times to get to this uh, uh, level of beauty and gloss. The spikes at the bottom are not just regular spikes. The spikes are part of a proprietary 
um, uh, vibration technology, uh, vibration uh, control technology. So between this plate and the cabinet itself, there are el elastomers that help to uh, reduce vibrations from the cabinet, uh, from, uh, from going back to the cabinet, as well as uh, reduce vibrations going into the floor. And the spikes are all made of uh, solid steel. Uh, when the speakers come, you have to attach these outriggers. And basically that's it in terms of the details of the speaker. The speakers are 36,000 US dollars. Now let's go look at the Guaneri. Okay, so this is the new Guaneri. It's called the Guaneri G5 also because it's the fifth generation. It physically looks very similar to the old Guaneri, which we have in the back all the way there. The tweeter looks very similar, but the mid, the mid woofer has been changed and updated. It's more powerful, it goes lower, it plays uh, uh, with more extension in the bass and with more articulation. Also, the crossover has been improved and uh, a couple other things which I can't remember offhand. And of course, these stands are proprietary stands. This is all carbon fiber made for Sonus Fiber by Pagani Automobili. Uh, some of you may know Pagani is one of the top uh, um, speak, uh, car manufacturers. They make exquisite um, uh, cars. It's quite incredible. So, and then when you put the grill on, this is what it looks like. Okay, that's it. I've spared you our unboxing uh, video this time around. Maybe we'll do it again next time. Um, to come, we will have reviews uh, sonically about the uh, Amadi, the Serafino, and hopefully the Guaneri as well. We've just got a lot of stuff to do, so we'll see if we can get to it. And then we'll do a comparison between the old Amadi and the new Amadi, assuming that we don't sell the old Amadi first. All right, well, thanks for watching. Adrian from Audio Accidents Canada. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.